have favorite superheroes like Marvel or DC? Uh, can you name me a few of them and tell me what's special about them? Anybody? Y'all, your heads were shaking. Yes. Superman. Superman. What's special about Superman? He flies. He flies. Yeah. Ant-Man. Ant-Man. What, 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 what? He can shrink really tiny? Okay. Spider-Man. He uses his webs. Yeah, he can shoot webs, right? Okay. What else? What other over here? Yes. Yeah. Captain America. Captain America. And what's special about Captain America? He serves America. He serves America. Good. And does he have any special powers or any special technology or? No, no he just uh, was in the war. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yes. The Hulk, what can the Hulk do? He does what? Smash, 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 right? Okay. Let's take a few more here. Yes. Thor, and what's, what's special about Thor? Lightning. Lightning, you shoot lightning. Okay, and we'll do one more over here. You in the back. Batman, Batman. and what, what's special about Batman? He can fight. He has good fighting powers. He also has some really cool technology, right? Okay. So I was watching, uh, I think, uh, Justice League the other day, but I also like uh, uh, the Avengers. They're a pretty cool uh, cast of characters. And while they're just, you know, they're in our imagination, they exist in imagination, they have these unique powers, and they go about saving uh, humanity, they go about saving the world, and every sort of mission they have is about saving the world in some respect or another. Uh, but our focus today is not on the Avengers and not on the Justice League, our focus is on Jesus Christ. And we know Jesus Christ has done some amazing things that are written about in the Bible. And while these cast of characters that we mentioned from Hulk, from Batman to Ant-Man to Spider-Man to Superman, they're written in an imagination. The stories of Jesus Christ, written in the Bible close to 2,000 years ago by now, actually happened. And what are some stories you know of the things that Jesus performed? Let's see here, you. He made a blind man see. Made a blind man see. He walked on water. He did what? He cured the sick. Anybody over from over here? Yes. He gave bread and wine. Yeah, you know, he gave himself on the cross, right? And we'll get back to that here in a point. He, he gave of himself. All right. Yes, you. He turned water into wine. Uh, yes. He stopped the storm, and we'll do a couple more here. Yes. Me? Yeah. Oh, um, I'll come back to you if you remember. Oh, wait, I remember. You remember, okay. Um, he died for all the people. He died for all the people. We'll get back to that one too here, and we'll take one more. Yes. Yeah. Um, he took many, like, little bread and uh, fish and turned them into, like, Oh, yeah, the feeding of the 5,000 people where you took, you, you just had, I think it was like, uh, I always get the numbers mixed up. I think it's two loaves of fish and three pieces of bread or something around those matters there. Where he took those small amounts, right, and made it so he could feed 5,000 people, right? But we think about it and compare it to our superheroes, and we might think, well, these superheroes could probably do the same thing. Maybe Thor, oh, we got some people shaking their head there. No, 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 no. But if we think about it, if they, if they have that much power, right, they could possibly walk on water. I think there might be, I don't know, I, there might be a superhero, I think, out there that can walk on water. I know Superman, I think, can. Um, you know, there, there might be uh, some out there that can uh, change some things, maybe perhaps water into wine. 
So what makes Christ special? And I think some of you guys hit on that, a couple of people did perhaps, of what makes Christ that stands out from these fictionary characters here. I'll take, okay, we got a few people who want to stab at this. All right, go ahead, take a stab at this. He's real, that's one thing, and we mentioned that. Yes. He is the Son of God. He's real, he's the Son of God, he's come here to be here on earth. Yes. Huh? He's super nice to people, but also our superheroes are nice to people, right? Well, here's the big thing, that none of these, besides being the Son of God, besides being the Son of God and coming to visit here on our earth, the one thing he can do that nobody else can do is forgive each and every one of our sins. That he has that power to reconcile us with God our Father. And through the sacrifice he makes daily here at this Mass, through our offering of ourselves to him, he has the power to take our sins and wash them completely away. And no other superhero can do that. No other superhero can offer himself like Jesus Christ does to God the Father so that we can have eternal life in heaven. He has that power to change our lives. He can heal us not only from our sicknesses, from our fears, maybe from our anger. He can comfort us, but most importantly, above all, the reason why we come to see him day in and day out is because we know that he can wash away our sins. And in washing away our sins, he is preparing a place for us in the eternal kingdom. So we remember that today, that we can bring everything to him. He can transform everything and prepare us a spot in the heavenly kingdom. And one of my favorite things I like to think about is when we prepare the gifts, and this is something you might want to think about as well, and I've mentioned this before, um, is that he takes bread and wine. Bread is basically dead wheat. And wine, basically smashed up grapes, right? It's, it's dead grapes. But we've tried to make them into something that we can eat and something that we could drink. But Christ goes one step farther because the bread and grapes are still dead things in a way. Christ takes them and makes them into his living bread, his, his living body and blood. His blood, soul, and divinity so he can live within us and so he can prepare each one of us a place in that heavenly kingdom. Hello, OLPH. My name is Mary Lynn Januszewski, and I'm the Director of Finance and Operations at Our Lady of Perpetual Help Parish in Glenview, Illinois. And this message comes to you with heartfelt gratitude and thanks for your ongoing generosity and support of OLPH Parish. This overwhelming generosity allows us to continue to serve and to minister to the parish community in so many different ways. So thank you, OLPH, for all you do. You are much appreciated.